everybody. My name is Lisa. I'm a customer success manager here at Prodigy. I'm going to go over a couple of ins and outs on how you can look at your parent account and continue to follow along with your students. First, I want to go through a couple of challenges that we may have as a parent. So I have created a little bit of an agenda for us to go over today, which will include looking at a presentation as well as going into our parent dashboard to learn a little bit more about it. I have an agenda here for us to go through today. We're going to talk about some of the challenges that are facing your family currently uh, within the course, the education space. We're also going to discuss the impact that Prodigy has and hear from an actual teacher and how they're using Prodigy within their classroom. And we'll also dive right into your parent account and really show you how you can use Prodigy with Fidelity to really take uh, a look at what your student is doing at school and be able to support them at home. I always like to begin with our mission, and our mission really is as simple as helping every student in the world to love learning. We believe that regardless of what zip code or socioeconomic background your child is born into, that every child can succeed, and we act on that belief by reimagining learning, a place where all students will have access to equitable content. So Prodigy is super fun for your students, so hopefully with that fun as well as math, that will help to increase that love of learning. Today, we have many challenges facing us when it comes to understanding our children's and balancing their needs and their wants. One of these challenges we face is, and you hear it all the time, are children spending too much time online or playing video games? This may even be a challenge for some of us here tonight. I know it's definitely a challenge for me with three children at home. Luckily for us, we've had some research done on digital game-based learning, and digital game-based learning captures children's imagination and intrinsically motivates them to engage with educational content, such as Prodigy. So even though it is screen time, it is definitely very useful screen time, and it really is going to help them to increase their math skills and really get that love of learning. Challenges around screen time aren't the only thing that we are hearing about in regards to education today. We are also hearing that a lot, a lot about math anxiety and students not wanting to take risks in math or make mistakes. Maybe you've heard things or you've even said them yourself, like, I'm not a math person or I'm just not good in math. This can be a huge concern for parents and teachers alike. Though research, we know that everyone can excel if they have a growth mindset. At Prodigy, we believe that every student should love math. Playing fun online games with their classmates is part of the way that we can help to foster that love of math. As a student, as students are playing Prodigy, not only are they playing a fun online game with friends, but they are also engaging with math at their level. Prodigy uses an adaptive algorithm to send your child questions that are challenging, but also achievable. This coupled with gameplay encourage them to continue playing and build their confidence and the ability to solve math problems. What we're really looking for here is to change your students or your child's fixed mindset where they believe that they're not good at math. They're having some anxiety around that. And we want to change it to a more growth mindset where they start to answer math questions within Prodigy. They recognize they're starting to get more and more correct. That helps build confidence and that helps change that fixed mindset to more of a growth mindset. For me, there is another big challenge out there as well. It is knowing that children are safe when they are online. Now, I know you've heard about this, and I know that as parents and educators, we are all worried about online safety. And it isn't just from strangers online, although that is a huge part of it. The new challenge is online bullying. This can come from other students that your child may or may not even know, and it is concerning. According to DoSomething.org, about 37% of young people between the ages of 12 and 17 have been bullied online 30% have had that happen to them more than once. Prodigy makes online safety top priority. We want students to feel safe playing online, free of bullying, and this helps them to continue to play, learn, and take risks in answering math questions. And we do this in a couple of ways. First, we allow students to interact with their peers through our digital platform. However, we limit chat to pre-populated sentences that students can choose from in order to keep conversation positive and motivating. Second, students are not identified by their own names. They, they can play and choose a name as well as it, they'll also get a creative last name. They can create a character, whether it be their same gender or something totally different. They really can create this magical online character that really does not reflect themselves. So this does give them anonymity within the game. 
In addition, Prodigy keeps student data safe. Did you know that your child's last name will not appear in our system anywhere? They are only identified by their common first name and their last initial. All this to say we make your child's online safety a top priority here at Prodigy. The next thing we're going to highlight here for you is really what that student experience looks like and why are your students so excited to play Prodigy not only in class, but at home and really what's Prodigy all about. First of all, Prodigy is an immersive role playing game, which helps your students in math and incentivizes them along the way. So it's not a, a series of mini games that your child plays. It's one entire game where they go through different worlds within Prodigy and go through different quests. Just like in any other game, there's going to be opponents that they're going to have to battle, whether they be computer generated characters or other students. And that's really where the math comes in during our math battles. Each math battle is about three to five questions in length. And it's not simply a program where your students can click, click, click through. In order for them to have a more robust experience and get the cooler stuff within game, they must continuously answer math questions in order to progress. What I'm going to highlight here for you is really what a math battle looks like for your student and what it looks like for them to answer the questions and use the manipulatives along the way. So we're going to dive in here to play Prodigy. This is your child logging in and going into their uh, first battle. So as they go in here, they're going to click next on this page in order to get to Prodigy. They can select playing from home or school, depending on where they're actually playing. And this is them diving into Prodigy. This is a Firefly Forest. And really what they're wanting to do is battle it out with these two computer generated characters in front. And that actually represents about six to 10 questions in this small area. Once your child goes into the battle, they're going to select their spell. And in order for their spell to land, they're going to have to answer this question successfully. What you're seeing here is a little hint bubble. So if your child's not really sure on how to go ahead and answer that question, they can click on that light bulb and get a little hint. Additionally, not all questions are going to be multiple choice for your child as well. So we do provide colored pencils on the right hand side in order for them to do scratch work on whatever device they're using. What you're seeing here as well is other manipulatives. So there's base blocks, counting blocks, counting uh, circles. There's also going to be coins and fraction strips. Of course, coins are relevant to what area that you're in. So if you're in the U.S., you're going to see U.S. coins. Once your child decides this is the answer they're going to provide, they select it and cast their spell. And right away, they will see if they're correct or incorrect. If they're correct, what they're going to do is alleviate their opponent of some of their health, which is really what they're trying to do in order to win the battle. There'll be a little bit of gameplay where the opponent will strike back, and then we're going to select a second spell and get our second question. What I'm going to highlight for you in this second question is on the top left hand corner and this is our text to speech option so if you do have some students that have some struggles with reading they can click on that text to speech button and we'll read the question as well as the answer for them as many times as they need it in order to be effective finally on our last go round, what i'm going to highlight for you is what our math badges look like in teacher dashboards and in parent dashboards we show you when your student or child has uh, mastered a particular skill but we also want to let them know in game when they've mastered a skill really to help with that growth mindset so once your child has answered seven consecutive questions correctly in a row we will consider that skill mastered and you'll see there's a little bit of fun fa fanfare letting them know that they have mastered that skill finally your child has actually won this battle. There is no violence within Prodigy. The opponent is just going to run away. And we're going to congratulate your child for a job well done with gold coins, perhaps some gear, maybe even a pet to help them on their Prodigy journey. Now that we showed you what the game looks like for your students, we want to help you to understand better why we feel it is super important for you to have a parent account to follow along with your child's journey. First, you can link your child to the account and keep in the loop on how they're doing through real-time parent dashboards. So just as many uh, reports that your teachers see in the class, you'll be able to see very similar reports at home, which will highlight the skills and standards that your kiddos are working on and are they doing really well or are they struggling a little bit. You'll also have an option to sign up for email updates. So as your child completes teacher assigned content, you'll be notified. It's a great way to keep them accountable for completing homework or practicing for an upcoming quiz. It's also a great way for you to know what they're working on day to day and really and ask them really specific questions. So when you say, how is your day at school? You're not really hearing, I don't know, I don't remember. You can actually go right into your Prodigy account and see exactly what your child has been working on. 
The third one here is you can reward your child. And we're going to show you once we get into your parent dashboard how you can create rewards for your child. But here you're going to go ahead and set some goals. Setting goals is based on questions answered within Prodigy. And once they are completed, your child will actually unlock special in-game rewards for completing the goal that you've set ahead of them. This is a really great way for you to keep monitoring how many questions they're answering and keep it fun for them. So they want to come back and they want to continuously answer math questions. So they are getting those rewards at the end. Finally, when your child is playing Prodigy, you will know that they are safe and secure in a learning environment online with no open chat features, no full names or locations collected. You know that your child will be able to navigate through their favorite game safely. Now we know parents are experts in their children's learning and that's why we asked all of you. In a recent survey, 91% of the respondents said their children enjoy using Prodigy and 85% of respondents said Prodigy is appropriate for their children's academic needs. In addition, 81% of respondents said that Prodigy is beneficial for engagement in mathematics and you can see parents are on board with their children playing Prodigy. I want to provide you with a bit of a video here, not only from one of our teachers that is using Prodigy, but our teacher is also a parent. So I'm just going to play this here uh, from Shonda, who is a admin at one of our schools, and also her two children play Prodigy. The first time I used Prodigy was as a first grade teacher, and my students were completely thrilled with the games that they thought they were playing. Needless to say, they were actually practicing math, which was a win-win for me as a teacher, especially whenever I strive for that student engagement. Now, sometime later, as a parent, my fourth grade son came home, and this is the same boy who did not like school, was disengaged, and he begged me to set up an account at home for him so that he could practice math. Now, that was almost like a miracle to me as the parent of a son that any time we had to do homework, it was the dreaded, no mom, and now he was practicing on Prodigy all the time. Now, sometime later, as a curriculum director, I get to see the students in my district thrilled to be playing a game. But more so, I get to analyze how that has changed and shifted their attitudes towards math and also um, the practice that they do in math. They're actually engaged in math practice of both the skills, fundamental concepts of mathematics, and that is a win-win for me as a curriculum director. Needless to say, it's also free, which um, is also a win-win, but the skills that my students come away with and the enthusiasm they have for it is priceless. So thank you, Prodigy. Now, before we jump into our parent dashboards, here's a really quick and easy way for you to go ahead and set up your parent dashboard if you do not already have one. Simply scan the QR code that you see on the screen and head to prodigygame.com. Once there, you'll select get your free account and simply choose the parent option. Once you do, you'll be set to go and you just need to add your students. I'm going to pull up here a parent dashboard to kind of take us through how to monitor our students as they play Prodigy, as well as how to interact with them, provide them with some of those goals as well. We can go ahead and show you their report card and standards and skills that they're currently working on. So now that I'm in my parent dashboard, you'll see that I have quite a few children on here. Now, some of them have memberships, which we'll talk about, and some of them do not have memberships. And whether you have memberships or not, the math content will remain the same. Just a couple of the features will change. I'll show you the differences in features for your parent dashboard. So as you can see, I have Emma here without a membership and Dylan and Sarah who both have memberships. So what we're going to do before we dive into each individual account is we'll show you how we added our child first. Now there'll be a bit of a button here or if you jump in, you do not have any students um, added to your account, they'll ask you to add your students right away. So that will be the first thing that you need to do in order to move through your parent dashboard. Adding a child is super easy. Just by clicking on that button, it's going to ask you two questions. Does your child already have an account or does your child need a new account? If your child does not have an account, you can actually go ahead and set one up from this page. But if they already have an account through their school, you can actually just link that to your parent dashboard. We recommend that your student uses the same username and password both at home and school in order for that data to travel to you and the teacher. 
Now, as I click on my child already has an account, it will ask me for their username and password, or if your child uses Google or Clever to log in, you can also attach them this way. If you're not sure what your child's username or password is or how they log in, simply reach out to your child's teacher and they'll be able to help you with that information. So username and password, add your child, whether they log in with Google and add your child, or if once they log in with Clever, you can add your child and that will bring them into your account. If you have multiple children, you can actually go ahead and make sure that you just do that step as many times as you need to. As you can see, I have about six kiddos here that are attached to my parent account. Now, if I wanted to look at one of my students here, and I'm actually going to pick on Sarah first, as I go in and dive into her account, you'll see that Sarah actually does have a membership because all these areas with P's let you know that this is a premium account. And premium account does not only affect your child's account, but it does affect your parent account. So you do get a couple more uh, reports that you can take a look at. So let's start with our dashboard on our current account. The dashboard is really just the cliff notes of what's going on with your child this week as they played Prodigy. At the top here, you'll always can see a comparison, what they've been working on, what skills that they have mastered. You'll see what grade level they're sitting on. And also right here, you'll be able to see weekly questions answered. Now this will give you weekly questions answered both at school and home. And really what that means is, is what time of day are they using Prodigy? Whether they're using, when they're using it at school, it's between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. And those questions will reflect from school. And then after 4 p.m. on the weekends, it'll actually, actually reflect from home. And you'll see exactly what level uh, of engagement your child is having with Prodigy. If they continue to use it long after the bell rings, they're hooked and they're really enjoying the game. Scrolling down here, this is another premium feature that will help you to see practice areas. So you can see what your child has been working on. You can also see some areas where they may need help and you can actually view that by opening that a particular uh, report up. So as we open it up and get into that report, it's gonna actually show you some of the skills that she was working on. This is for Sarah. So you can see a sample question. And if you wanna provide them with a little bit more practice at home, you can also print off some practice sheets for them just to get a little bit more comfortable with these particular concepts. So this will highlight what they're working on. This will highlight their strengths and their struggles and give you an option for more practice at home. Anytime you wanna go back out to the main page, all you have to do is just click on that dashboard and it will bring you back. Also a fun tip, if you have multiple children, you do not have to go out to the main page in order to go through them. You can just click on the drop down arrow and all your children will be there and you can toggle between on each individual page. Now, as we scroll down a little bit, we'll also see curriculum progress, and this will help you to see how well your student is actually moving through the grade level right now. Halfway through the year, we'd like to see your students between, I would say, 35 to 50 percent of the way through their curriculum. And that lets you know that they're on pace to, to uh, master all those skills within their grade level before the end of the school year. Scrolling down here, you'll also see a goal overview. So if you have created a goal for your child, you'll be able to see how close they are to completing it. If you ever need to edit that, it's here as well. Or if you ever need to give a prize, it will be on your main page. And then scrolling down one step further will also show you the recent activity. So what types of questions have your child been answering as they played Prodigy and really how are they doing? Anything in green lets you know that they're 80% or over in efficiency. Anything in yellow lets you know they're 60, 79, and anything in red lets you know that they're below 60 and really struggling with that particular concept. Now, this page here is really just your dashboard landing page, but you can actually dive into each individual area and go a little bit uh, more in depth. So if I wanted to look at classroom learning, I could definitely go into that area here and go a little bit more in depth rather than what I saw on my main dashboard page. I'll be able to see if my teacher had created any co uh, content, so any plans, assignments, or test prep for my child to work on. And I'll also be able to see if they actually had plans, assignments, and test preps to work on and how well they done in class. The next stage here is your goal progress. So if you have created goals for your child, you'll be able to uh, see the goal progress, not only from the main page, but also right from your goal progress tab. This will also give you an option to go ahead and cheer your child on as they play Prodigy. So if you know they're playing right now and you wanna send them a, a really great nudge in game, you can say, nice work, keep up that goal. And that will go right to them in game. 
Below that is our report card here, and that will actually help you to see week, oh, sorry, month over month, how well your students are improving, or if they're still struggling with a specific area they were struggling with last month. As you can see, Sarah's in grade two, and this is for February, but I can actually go back as many months as I need to in order to kind of catch up and see what she's been working out throughout the school year. This will give you my evaluation breakdown in the different domains that she's been working on. And if we scoot down here, this lets you know if she's increasing or decreasing each month and be able to kind of really follow along with her progress. Again, another really quick area that you can go ahead and cheer your child on as well. Down below here is your curriculum coverage, and this will just let you know how many skills that your child has mastered. As you saw in uh, the video that we showed where my child earned a math badge, you'll also see here the math badges that your child has earned. And these math badges are ones that your child will see in game. So as soon as they have uh, received that math badge, you'll be able to see that they've uh, completed that. So my child would have got a geometry math badge in game. And here I can see three to three skills mastered. They've got that for grade two, and they would go on to grade three concepts next. Comparison and insights is another membership uh, perk here. And as you go in, it will also show you her monthly progress. Uh, you can also get uh, an email, the comparison insight report as well. And then in your last page here is going to be manage your child. If you ever need to change their password, you can certainly do that here. If your child used Prodigy at school as well, once you change their password here, it'll also reflect on their teacher dashboard. So if they forgot their password at home with you and they forget your password at school, everybody has a way to go ahead and help find that for them. Now, I just wanted to click over into one of my other children here that do not have a membership and really show you the differences in those dashboards. So you'll see here with my child that does not have a membership that I'm missing a couple of different areas here. I'm not able to really see what they're actually working on at school, but it does give me a really good idea of what they are working on in Prodigy. So you do still get a lot of really great data to follow along with your child's progress. So same kind of uh, system happens on the left hand side you'll see all the areas of your child's uh, account and you can dive into them individually you still have options to send uh, goals and send rewards to your child you'll also still have an option to view the report and look at the curriculum coverage and of course we also want to make sure that you're managing your child if they ever need to update that username and password I hope this has been very informational for you. Good luck in creating your parent account and following along with your child. Please do not hesitate to reach out to our support team if you have any questions or concerns. I'm going to throw it over to Aaron and Jennifer, who are going to talk to you about learning outside the classroom.